we address the challenge of early diagnosis of potential failure cases in manipulation tasks and recovery from failures through uncertainty estimation. Our work is based on end-to-end visual motor control, an effective means of achieving manipulation tasks. At each time step, the model takes a sliding window of images and robot states as input, and maps them to a delta end effector position command and gripper command, and some auxiliary terms. We experiment on three manipulation tasks, pushing, pick and place, and pick and reach. This approach suffers from a common imitation learning issue, lacking the ability to recover from an out-of-distribution state caused by compounding errors. To solve the problem mentioned earlier, our idea is to monitor the policy uncertainty and view it as an indicator of the likelihood of task failure. Starting from an initial state, when the uncertainty is low, we execute deploy the normal visual motor control policy F. When the uncertainty is high, we switch to a recovery mode and deploy a recovery policy G for N steps. And then depending on the uncertainty, we switch back to the normal policy F, and so on. We propose introspective visual motor control. Our hypothesis is that model uncertainties can implicitly indicate the potential failures in a visual motor control task and that robot states with minimum uncertainty are more likely to lead to task success. To estimate the model epistemic uncertainty, In our Bayesian VMC, we add concrete dropout layers. At test time, at time step T, we draw Monte Carlo samples and use the mean as the next action to execute. Monte Carlo sampling gives us an uncertainty estimate of the current time step T associated with the current state, but does not tell us which action leads to a small uncertainty. We propose uncertainty foresight that takes as input the embedding of time step T, concatenates it with an action, and regresses to the uncertainty of time step T plus 1. This module is trained in a supervised manner by deploying a trained Bayesian VMC model, and collecting action and uncertainty sequences as ground truth. Uncertainty foresight provides us with an uncertainty estimate associated with the current robot state conditioned on an action. We propose to follow the action that leads to the minimum uncertainty when we switch to the recovery mode. When the uncertainty is high, we backtrack to the most certain position within the last few steps, and then we roll out the recovery policy G for a fixed number of steps. If the uncertainty is low, we execute the normal policy F. We compare our proposed method with a no recovery baseline. On the left, we see the robot first aligns the cube with the target by pushing sideways, but it then fails to move the gripper behind the cube. On the right, after aligning the cube with the target, the robot monitors a high uncertainty and starts recovery. It backtracks to the most certain position and then follows the action leading to minimum uncertainty for a few steps. The robot is thus brought back to a certain state and it completed the task by executing the normal policy. Thanks for watching.